Welcome back to Knowledge Base TV. Today I will bring you more updates on the unfortunate incident that claimed the life of a Nigerian famous Nollywood actor Junior Pope and four other crew members. Mm. Guys, a lot has happened behind the scenes. Some are bad news and some are even good news. I know you have been wondering what is going on, but I don't have to wait to compile everything and bring you all the updates. So don't skip any part of this video so you don't miss important updates and everything you need to know about Junior Pope's incident. So guys, you remember that so guys, remember that one of the victims, Abigail, was found April 11, 2024, and she was laid to rest by the river bank because the family could not afford to pay the money to buy items to perform sacrifice to appease the goddess of the river. So they just had to bury her by the river bank. However, the situation got to the governors of Aquaimbo State, so he visited the family of Abigail Frederick to console them and mourn with them, and also promised to support the family. And also, he directed that her body be exhumed from the river bank and brought back to the state for proper burial. So on the 15th of April, she was taken to her hometown, where she was finally laid to rest properly through the help of the governor. On the 17th of April, one of the victim's family also came out to plead with the public to help them bring back the body of their son so that he can have a proper rest. In the video posted on Instagram, Precious's mother can be seen crying for help. According to her, her son's spirit has been roaming around, so the son is not resting. She said the landlady keeps calling them and telling them that they are seeing the son's spirit around. Now, back to the update on Junior Pope. The Anambra State Police has reacted to the confusion surrounding the funeral of the late actor. And according to the police, Junior Pope is still in the mug as they wait the deceased family funeral arrangement. But on the brighter side, our best news today is that Nigerian billionaire and business mongu E-Money has taken it upon himself to raise the late actor's children, three children for that matter, and it is really good news and it gladdens my heart that somebody is taking this responsibility. This news has really made many Nigerians smile because this was Junior Pope's last word as he said on the boat that he has three children and he has to raise them before his life was unfortunately cut short. So Imoni wrote a tribute message to Junior Pope and in this tribute message he said, It has been one week since you departed from this world, leaving behind a profound sense of loss that reverberates not only among us but across Africa and beyond. Your presence as both a friend and a brother is deeply missed, JP. The weight of your absence bears heavenly upon our heart. Yet, we draw comfort from the belief that God will grant us the resilience to carry forward and uphold the legacy you have entrusted to us. We tenderly remember your final words on the boat. Now only me them born. I get three children. Now me go raise them. And we solemnly commit to honoring that vow. Your children now find solace in the embrace of the Unkoko family. And we, as members of that family, pledge to nurture them as you would have wished. Your absence leaves a palpable void, JP. And your memory will forever be held there. Rest peacefully, knowing that you are deeply cherished, and God's blessing encompass your soul, your family, and all who hold you dear in your heart. Mm. This is really, really thoughtful of Imoni. I know Imoni is someone that has kept so many promises. He has helped so many people, so no one is even doubting all that he has said. It is even said that the car Junior Pope was driving was given to him by Imoni. So this one is really, really great sign because. He is someone that keeps to his promises. So without any iota of doubt, Junior Pope's kids are in good hands and they will be raised by Imoni and his family. This is really good of you, Imoni. May God's blessing continue to be on you. But guys, I have another question I want to ask. Junior Pope's colleague, Oyin Michael, said when he wanted to give mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR to Junior Pope, he discovered that his mouth was full of blood. And that really raised a lot of questions in my heart because I began to wonder why a person that was reportedly drawn would have his mouth full of blood. I know blood can only come from poison, acid, maybe it's possible he eats anything in water, but I doubt if that is the case. Why would his mouth be full of blood? And also, the deceased body was said to be in water for about an hour, yet his body shown to us on social media is not bloated. Nor does it look like somebody that has died from drowning or has been in water for over an hour. The story is no clear for me because it's so sad that the only thing we can say now is that may God rest his soul and give his family fortitude to bear the loss. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and let me know your take in the comment section.